There is a not so subtle shift taking place in the art world. It's a growing demand for pieces by artists of color. In this week's Positively Black, Miles Miller takes us to Christie's, where black art and black art lovers are painting a new picture of the auction market. When it was up for auction last week at the famed auction house Christie's, 2020, a piece by the Queen's raised artist Marcus Jensen was expected to be sold for sixty to eighty thousand dollars. The proceeds benefiting the Bronx Museum of the Arts. Instead, it sold for a hundred seven thousand one hundred dollars. The piece was brought to auction by Julian Ehrlich, associate specialist and head of sale for post-war to present at Christie's. We're really in a renaissance for contemporary black art in terms of having access to it and those artworks performing really well. Over the past two years, with the advent of the movement for black lives, art sales have shifted from the usual well-recognized art market darlings to artists of color. What's happened in the contemporary art market in the past few years is just the incredible explosion of interest in art by black artists. Ehrlich is the son of artists raised in the East Village. I'm in charge of finding art, selling art, putting together a biannual auction at this auction house. He oversaw a sale that saw blue chip pieces by Edward Rouché and Jeff Koons going up for sale alongside pieces made by black artists. I think Marcus Jansen's a good example, but there has been just an incredible increase in these markets and kind of zooming out from the art market really within the institutional art world in opening up doors to important artistic voices that have been um, a bit overlooked um, historically. And with Ehrlich in this position as a black man with a seat at the table to discover and bring black art to market, it's clear the interest in this art will endure. I also think what I like about being within the context of an auction house is that you're really able to bring artists from the periphery to the center. And we're really grateful that we're having an opportunity to present those works on a large uh, market stage and, and really have them perform well. I'm Miles Miller, News 4 New York. And you can find these Positively Black stories every week when you tune in right here on News 4.